Thank you so much dear audience this is another episode of youth root show this is a show that takes interest in matters that are affecting youths yeah kuna changamoto nyingi sana ambazo vijana pale nje wanapitia na hapa ndani ya makala haya ya youth root tunaangazia changamoto hizo ile swala la um, mental illness yeah ni swala ambalo tumeliangazia hapa ndani ya makala ya youth root lakini hatuwezi sema kwamba tumemaliza hii changamoto ndipo kila siku ama kila wakati tunaendelea kutafuta tunaendelea kutafuta solution zingine ama eh, solution zingine ambazo zitasaidia wengi sana manake taifa la Kenya liliwekwa katika mataifa ambayo yana watu ambao wame, wana stress wa, wako na stress sana wana msongo wa mawazo sana ndipo sasa leo ndani ya makala tutakuwa tunaangazia swala la mental illness mazungumzo yaendelee pale facebook quinto wa fola twitter yetu wa fola underscore quinto instagram sa quinto kisha youtube ni sa quinto hapo tutaweza kuwasiliana mgeni karibu katika studio zetu Mm -hmm. So today we are discussing on mental illness. Yeah, it is a topic that we discussed before but bado taifa la Kenya likiwa ranked uh, kwa mataifa ambayo watu wako stress sana likiwa pale juu likiwa katika mataifa ambayo yako pale juu lazima turejelee tena hili swala la mental illness. Labda right away ujitambulishe kwa mtazamaji naitwa nani? Okay, my name is Diana Kerubo. Mm -hmm. I'm um, a student Mount Kenya University and um, I'm a mental health advocate because um, it's an issue that we can't finish talking about it every day cases are rising we have had so many cases so yeah mental health mental illness it's something that the government and also as a personal individual we should look at it intentionally because currently we are dealing with the COVID-19 issue. The next pandemic, I can assure you, it will be about the mental health because now people will be forced now. The, mental, the, the COVID is over now. Let's deal with the aftermath of COVID-19. Now it is depression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, right away, what is a mental illness? Mental illness. First of all, let me let me define what is mental health. Mental health yeah. yeah, because mental health is it has been confused. Mental health, mental illness. So mental health, I will say, first of all, everyone has mental health, mm -hmm. even a child. Mm -hmm. Mental health is the same thing like your body. It because your mind is part of your body. So the same thing you can you can have mental health. It's Everyone has mental health. So I will say mental health is a state where your mind, because it's all about the mind, your mind is, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's whole, where it's not, it's not compromised, it is not involved with anxiety. Your mind is whole, even no, rather, regardless of the situation that you are in, your mind is whole. Be it you are, you are happy, your mind is still cool. You are sad, your mind is still cool. Something else I can say is about where your mind is it's centered and grounded. Mm -hmm. A situation where nothing can sway your mind. That is what I can say. Mental health is d despite everything that you, you face every day. But your mind is still calm. Your mind is still whole. Your mind is still in a state where you can still process thoughts and come to a very reasonable conclusion it's not a state where you you process thoughts uh, depending on the situation that you are in that is what i can say about mental health that is mental health that is not mental health mental illness now it's now the opposite because if your mind is not whole for example now you are you are depressed you are depressed the the you're so much depressed your mind is not whole you make decisions out of let me say they are just irrational decisions you don't you don't think very well you just make situation because i'm depressed i'm let me you know what let me just decide to kill myself to end my life like that because i'm depressed let me decide let me do what let me take drugs you may not kill yourself but you like let me take drugs so mental illness these are 
of course it's not one illness that's why it's called mental illnesses they are, they, are not, they are more than one. Mental illness is a state where your mind is not whole. It has been compromised due to one, two, three issues. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have said that it is not just only one, one, see a gonjo moja, or ni magonjo ming. What are some of, what are some of types of mental illness? Depression is one of them. We have bipolar, the, the very minute ones that people don't, take a very a very intent look at them I would say something like stress anxiety they're really not illnesses but they are issues concerning the mental the mind rather so but the, the ones that are extreme it's depression and also what I was saying, bipolar mm -hmm. bipolar is a state where your mind you are extremely happy Mm -hmm. You are so much energized. Mm -hmm. Bipolar. There are two colors. So mm -hmm. you are, you are, as in, in a fact, balance. Mm -hmm. like if I got too much excited and too much sad, your moods are not balanced. So this time I'm happy. The next two minutes I'm sad and it's out of nowhere. So mm -hmm. that's bipolar. Depression is a result of stress. And it is, it is usually diagonized. Maybe after it has gone more than two weeks. If you're continually stressed for more than two weeks, then there is depression. But mm -hmm. it can be it can be easily cured at that stage when it is after two weeks. But now if it goes maybe past one month, two mm -hmm. months now, it, it goes something overboard. Now this is where now the doctors come in and intervene. Now that is where you need to take pills. Mm -hmm. But if you have stress, you don't have to take pills due to stress. So this stress you can, and stress we, we, we face stress every day. Mm -hmm. For example, our students here, when our exams are approaching, we need to read for this for the exams. So you'll be like, has the so mind, all those sort of things. You're stressed. Maybe something else. Uh, you won't submit your assignments, mm -hmm. and the deadline is due. So you're like, ah, stress. So stress is something that we we face every day. Mm -hmm. The same thing with anxiety, which are leap face. So it's you're being anxious. So these are things we need, we face every day, rather. But if they're not well taken off, off they can lead to depression. Mm -hmm. So th there are these people who might be going a challenge, but um, they. They, they don't want to share it with somebody else. They just feel like it will just be over. Can also that also that be a mental disorder? You have a, an issue when you feel combined in a heart, but uh, you just say, ah, it shall just be like now, for instance, who who a fee, but you don't want to share with anyone else, like who food kwa nyumba. You just want to be to stay with it because you fear, ah, that's how it was done. You can call it a you Can also that uh, be a mental disorder? It can lead to. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, the society has painted this thing that sharing, mm -hmm. it's, it shows a point of weakness. Or rather, let me say, that is how we have been brought up. Mm -hmm. That if I share my problem with you, I'm being weak. Mm -hmm. But in real sense, you're not being weak. Sometimes you may come to me, maybe you have a, a school fees area. Let's say, as I was still to say, mm -hmm. let's say 10,000. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard on you. Mm -hmm. But if you if I come to you, I'll be like, Hassan, at a neonage, at a maybe to earn from a very poor background, mm -hmm. and all those sort of things. Sometimes I may not even offer that help that you need it. But that's just just pouring it out. Just saying, you know what, Quinton? You know what, I can call stress, jelly puffy, and the exams is in approach. All that. Sometimes just pouring it out. We usually say that a problem shared is a problem so. have solved. Mm -hmm. So it's good to to share it out. And I've been a victim of not sharing it out mm -hmm. because I'm like, I know. Or sometimes I perceive Quinton Okonomashin is okay. So why should I add my problems Kwakipia? So I end up staying with my problems and I will come out here, we will smile, we will mm -hmm. laugh. But deep down when I go back only by pillow can tell them what to Yes. There are also these people who may say to happen there are these people who have their any they have their issues to a point that they, they, they can decide to cut some relationships. Like uh, 
You say I've been a friend with this person but every time anakuja anakona mashida anataka yani anataka ani ananifanya na kwa na stress sana anambo anamo acha ni acha ni even I don't want to be a friend with that person that particular uh, let me use an example somebody is an, uh, in a, a relationship a boy with a girl that are in a relationship but now this lady or, or let me say this this lady amekuwa akikuja anambia this boy who oh, I have this challenge or oh. and now because this boy loves this lady she's like ah, anakuwa stressed out pia yeye ana feel nini nini hadi nafika place that they want the boy wants to to cut the relationship he feels like I also have my own issues. I should be disturbed by another person's issues. Can that be even as a relate somewhere with mental illness or mental disorder? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if you come to me with issues, mm -hmm. I may, might also feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And you see, there are people, people come to them. Like, when I draw to Nikenda, who you say, they will offer solutions. Mm -hmm. And if you're in that position, you know, you're just, you're, your work is just to receive. You're drinking, you're drinking, you're drinking, mm -hmm. but you don't have somewhere where you can quite out. out. It can also lead to mental health. Because you're dealing with a lot of issues. Kuna issues zako, na kuna issues za mtu mingine. So what you need is to also find an outlet where you can pour out. As in, you come, you find an outlet where you can also pour these problems. Because again, if you don't pour them out, you'll be so much puffed up, and your mind needs to rest. Mm -hmm. Your mind cannot process a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Your mind needs to rest. So if you're that, if you're in a position where people just come to you, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a good position actually, because it it shows that people have earned your trust mm -hmm. and they can rely on you. But again, it's a dangerous position if you don't have somewhere else to go. And this is now where it comes to a personal responsibility to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Because in one way or the other, you'll find yourself in a position where someone tells you their issue. Mm -hmm. So you need to, first of all, be sure. Are you? Don't promise solution if you don't have the solution. Just, okay, just stay there and listen. And if you can't offer a solution, refer this person to someone else who can offer. Solution. What are some of other causes of mental illness? A lot of pressure, mm -hmm. both internal pressure and external pressure. And this is especially among the youth. Mm -hmm. We, as youth people, we are trying to make a change, and the world is changing every day. So there is this pressure. Personally, uh, for example, I am about to exit campus, and so I'm like, what's next after campus? Will, um, there's so much anxiety. Will I find a job? Will the world be so difficult? Will it be so so unfair to me? There's that pressure. That is internal pressure from me, from my side. And then there's this pressure from the society. We need to see something. We need, we need to see an evidence that we may especially from parents and all that. That can be one. And then there's also um, relationships. <laughs> it's it's becoming so rampant, especially in in campuses. And it's it's not only okay. We have seen Mount Kenya University being a very a victim, and it's not only in this campus alone, but all over, people are dying because of relationship. Something else I can say it's because of social status, the pressure. You want to be like someone else. I want to be like, for example, who I want to be like the most famous person. I want to be like them. So the issue of comparing myself with someone else can also be a mental, can also lead to a mental illness and very many other things. Mm -hmm. Stigma, being stigmatized by the very many other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are some of the effects? What does uh, this mental uh, illness lead to? The one that is at the peak, I think it's suicide. Because now suicide is where you end your life thinking that you are solving something. Because you have lacked a solution. Now you think, if I end my life, mm, then I'll have saved myself a lot of pain. So actually, the reason why people kill themselves is to stop the pain that they are feeling. That is one of the causes. Something else, people end up uh, in drug abuse because there is this perception that if I take alcohol, my, my stress is it up for some time. But what people don't realize is that it, may, it, it will just, you will not think them for the, about the problems for very few, very few hours. Then you come sober again and you're back into your stress mode. Something else it can cause, it can lead to 
immoral like, let me call them immoral behaviors people will find themselves um, indulging into sex because they don't want to think so they find pleasure or they find they, they think they are finding solution in in let me say practicing sex and all that that's why people end up to be prostitutes and all the other things something else if you're a student students you, you drop out of school because now you can't you can't concentrate also poor social life you will lose a lot of friends you will lose because you're trying to push people away yes mm -hmm. so there are ways we, ways to cure these are uh, mental yes they are Let's take a short break, dear audience. To get a jet for what Nangazian, the people and Babot Noeza, Maliza, he mental illness, and by Mekua Rampatana. We'll be looking into it how we can solve those issues and ensure that Kenya is free from mental illness. Stay tuned. <music> Thank you so much for staying tuned, Makala Higher Youth Route. We are empowering youth for a better future and we are looking into topics that are affecting youth directly. Yeah, me and it was a quintum pinzim to the a lot of la mental disorder of mental illness. We also have a lot of angazia. Hileo, tumesha angalia nini ambacho husababisha na uh, mental illness husababisha nini na masala mingi sana. Saidi we are looking into how to solve or how to ensure that we cure ourselves from mental illness. Welcome again. Mm -hmm. Tuendele sasa, now we look into how we can help solve. Vile ambavo tunaweza sasa jitibu tokana na mental illness. Wow. So, um, the first step if you find yourself you're a victim of mental illness, first of all is to accept. Accept that Nikona depression because denial is something very bad. The people are saying, I know. I know. And you know, it's funny because maybe you have found yourself in a like, But first of all, accepting that, you know what? Um, I need help. People say, okay, I was somewhere and we were being taught that it's okay not to be okay. So first of all, accepting that I need help, first of all, that's a very big step. Because now that's the beginning of your, let me say, the beginning of your, um, of your healing process. So first of all, accept. Accept yourself that I'm not okay and I need help. Something else, uh, be grateful. It's something that I have learned every day. The moment you're grateful that today I've woken up, I have, I've seen a new day, I'm still healthy, be grateful. Because there's, there's, there's a sense of fulfillment when you, are, when you are just grateful. Because again, if you look closely, it's, it's from a point of not being contented that these things come, that this stress come. Be grateful that this far, I thank God I've, I'm well. Something else, talk to someone. I think that cannot be overemphasized. Talk to someone and uh, you don't have to... Okay, sometimes, I, if I say, the way I say, just as I said earlier, that you may, I may not offer the help that you need at that moment, but just put it in, putting it out of your chest, it helps a lot. It's, it's a whole lot of just, just saying, you know what, Quinton? Nikona Ishida. Utaskia like, oof it's off so find someone to talk to i think that that is what i can say something else um take care of yourself don't overwhelm yourself with a lot of things we are so young we people say that uh, life starts at 40 i am way there are so many years before i reach to 40 so that's just an example but don't overwhelm yourself take a step every day one step at a time don't let the external pressure to, to, to force you to do things that maybe you are not, not yet there. So live every day at a time. 
Yes, that's what I think. Which initiative can youth take to ensure that uh, tunapunguza hivi visa vya kuwa depressed? Be a brother skipper. Something else, uh, check up on your strong friends. Unajua kuna ule msi ya nasema nga, ah, uwe, dia na kuanga tu sawa. Check up on your strong friends. Check up on people. There is this notion that if you, if I've dealt with it severally, that uh, squeezy who you are nisalimi yangi, so what's the need of me kumsalimi ya? You'll never know what happened. Check up on people. You know, it's, it's, it's so sad. Today I sit down with you, then tomorrow skia di committed suicide. Like, ah, situ liko na di jana. Check up on people. Send random texts. Hey, how are you? Uko sawa kabisa? You know, the moment ni naona. Uko sawa kabisa, nita kwambia, eh, mbona? But I'll just text you. I'm just, I'm just being concerned. That one will mean a lot to someone kwa mtu mwenye. Maybe, haja ulizwa na mtu mwingine, how are you the whole day? Check up on people. Be, be, create an environment where people can, can come to you. Don't be that person who pushes people away. But create an environment around you that people can come to you, talk to you, just just be a listening ear. That is to people, to yourself. Because first of all, it's important to be to yourself. I think we can say just take a step. Every day, take up a step every day. Then do things that will promote your mental health. Do things that you like. Do you like singing? Sing. When you're stressed out, sing. Take a break from don't read, for example, if you're studying for the exams, don't study too much. Take a break. Do, do other things. Eat a balanced diet. Because again, your, your, your eating habits will also affect. It has an impact on your mental health. So eat healthily, do exercise, yeah, and enjoy life. Mm. So that is how we can, we can ensure that you so Also accepting accepting the situations yes accept the situations accept situations they don't they they are not permanent they they come and they go because again life is not just something like it's not a a what a walk in the path there are, there are mountains there are valleys but at the end of the day we have to believe in yourself that you know what i will see the end things you see that you can't change or things that have already passed you see, but Lisha, you just accept them Maybe as we are doing now, parting shots, what is your last word to the viewer out there? I will... This is what I will say. I'm facing that camera now. Mm -hmm. If we accept the pain, the struggles, and the shortcomings that come along our way, instead of pretending that they are not there, then we will leave this world a better place than we found it. So let's accept shortcomings. It's not something new. So let's accept the shortcomings, the, the anger, the stress that we face every day. And we will leave this world a better place than we found it. Yes, that's what I can say. Thank you so much for your time, Madam D. I'm really grateful for having you in your thought show. And I'm sure we've empowered our youth outside there. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. The audience, it has been an awesome show. We've been discussing about mental illness or mental disorder. Kama kwa pale inje kwa naswala lalote tafadhali, share it out. Speak to somebody. Usi dhani utawaza tu kusolvu wepe kiyako. Share with somebody because huyo mwenye unaona hivyo hivyo kuwanda ye ndialia na solution. Hiyo challenge usi kaetu na mzigo sana ukufinye makala ni youth root keep on subscribing liking commenting sharing with others so that we can empower vijana wengi sana mimi naitwa sakwinto goodbye for now until next time